Hi, this is Everett. Welcome back to my shop. Uh, this is just a quick little video to be able to join in with Emma Ritson's hashtag rough cut 22 uh, movement here. Um, again, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to film lately, so this is just a really quick one. Um, back in April, I had picked up a, uh, an overhead projector, an old school 3M 9100, uh, with the idea that I've seen a number of different people on YouTube with optical comparators and using optical comparators but considering their price on various units it is just not within the reach of most of us in the home shop. Then I was starting to think about hey why not an overhead projector with just a few different things to sort of go along with it. So the way I see it if a person makes a grid pattern I used inches you could use centimeters if you wanted to and uh, on a piece of well this is actually the old realty sign off of our front yard from last year when we bought our house and then you can put different angles and such on. I did a 55 degree for a Whitworth tool cutter, uh, a threading cutter, a 60 degree for a standard thread, 90 degree on the left there, and then below it there for doing various lathe tools for rake and clearance angles, 5, 10, 12, 15, 20, and 30, fairly common degrees. This is the setup I have. Uh, it's, yes, it's kind of rough, kind of not looking so uh, fancy or whatever, but the nice thing is, this is cheap. As long as you have space to run an overhead projector, it works. One minor inconvenience though, is that in order to actually really look de with detail, you flip the lights off. However, when you flip the lights off and you can start seeing nice detail, um, this here is a 0 .500 gauge block. It's covering six squares wide, so we're roughly a 12 to one, or sorry, 12 time magnification. Now, if I take my tool bit here, this is a tool bit I ground up for threading when I first got my lathe way back when. So I've been wanting to double check and see and actually looking at it, my, my angle is actually fairly decent. Uh, I was using a fishtail gauge, however, you can see that the shank is slightly angled a bit. So I mean, as long as you use the fishtail to go up to your workpiece, it, it, it did work. But again, if I wanted to do this properly, I could readjust that angle. So this is one of the things I wanted to be able to compare and actually look, you know, because again, I'm also getting older. My eyes are getting older. One other thing I wanted to do was be able to look at things like form tools. This was supposed to be a little half round form tool, but in blowing it up and looking at that, I can, I can see right there that it's not truly hemispheric, not truly hemispherical on the side there. So, you know, again, if you're really getting into things, you know, getting into wanting detail, this would work for that, blowing it up, make it a little easier to see. Now, one other thing I wanted to compare were some threading inserts. Uh, I had picked these up on, uh, off of eBay from a, well, fairly discount uh, supplier. Um, I, know, I know the, uh, well, this one here is supposed to be a Whitworth. It was advertised as a 55 degree Whitworth. This one here is advertised as a 60 degree uh, standard threading tool. Now I'll have to sharpen my focus a little bit here because again, they're a little bit shorter than that gauge block. So let's have a look here, see if, whoops. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's, it's got a couple of quirks here. It's finicky, but it's also certainly not as, I mean, I've also got this thing sitting on a fairly shaky, uh, uh, a fairly shaky workmate. But looking at that, it almost looks believable that it could be a 55 degree. Because also by shifting it over and putting it in the 60 degree um, notch there, and by putting it over in the 60 degree notch, you can actually see there is a bit of space on the side. So I guess I actually can believe them when they say 55 degree. I was having my questions uh, about it when I, was do when I was cutting threads using this insert. So, well, I guess they, they actually were truthful in their advertising. I've had some tooling that wasn't truthful in its advertising, so just kind of had me suspicious. And now I, actually, now I can actually finally test it. Yes, it's finicky, but I'm also cheap. So there, yeah, and there's a 60 degree insert. And that looks pretty happy where it's sitting too. That's a 60 degree insert and it's, yeah, it looks good as it is. So yeah, like I say, it's uh, one of those things where, you know, <laughs> if you get less than a hundred bucks and a little bit of fiddling around doing some arts and crafts, yes, it requires a little bit of patience, but uh, 
you can actually use a, an overhead projector to blow up a, a tool bit for you and actually put onto a screen. I know a person could use a, one of those new um, tabletop microscopes with the camera, but they're even more money and you'd need a very small scale to you know, read against, right? Because you're just looking at the image. So this is a tool bit that uh, I had uh, cut a while back when I first got my lathe. And uh, yeah, I've just been grinding on it ever, ever since and never really paid too much attention to the angles. So, I mean, I know I could probably use a protractor, but whatever. So if we go along here and find ourselves a, actually let's focus it. There we go, bring it up to focus. Nice thing is I can use either a vertical or a that that vertical or a horizontal line, and it looks like we're approximately, yeah, give or take about a 20 degree um, uh, 20 degree side angle, which is well way more than it needs to be. Trust me, I yeah. After looking it up, I realize now that's totally way more than is necessary. And then again, I I, I ground a few high speed steel tools when I first got the lathe, but otherwise I've just been using carbide mostly. Front nose, right, or front angle, there we go, yeah. yeah, that's close to 15, so pretty much a 15 degree front, uh, front angle. Then our clearance, wow, I really cut a lot of angle into this thing, didn't I? About 12 degrees, ah, yeah. Twelve, thirteen degree ish, you know, clearance angle. So, I mean, it would work. Like it, it does work. It cuts actually quite well. But you know, in a lot of ways, it's uh, more angle on everything than is necessary. Does it cut? Yep. Is it good form? Probably not. But at least this way, I can actually check it and you know, blow it up and um, look at it a little closer. So, anyway, uh, for what it's worth, hope this was at least some use to you or made you think or. If you can see stuff that I, you know, <laughs> I tried to get the machine as square to the screen as possible. Um, yeah, you could use different grids, whatever. Take with it, take it, run with it. See, you know, see if you can find one and if you can do more with it than I can. So, otherwise, thanks Emma for putting the uh, Rough Cut 2022 uh, movement together, and uh, be sure to check out everybody else using the same hashtag. Otherwise, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and. I'm hoping to have a few more videos out here soon. I just need a bit of time to put them together. Thanks, everybody. Take care.